بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم بیک فرینڈس ویلکم ٹو اندر ویڈیو ٹیٹوریل بیک کامی بیالوجی سو وی ٹاکٹ اباؤٹ ان دا پریس ویڈیو لیکچر اف یو گائز ریمبر وی ٹاکٹ اباؤٹ دا اوور ویو اور دا بگ پکچر آف وٹ ایمنالوجی اوکے ناؤ دس از دا سیکنڈ ویڈیو لیکچر وچ از آلسو ریگارڈ ود دا ایمنالوجی اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ہیمیٹو پوئسز ناؤ ان دا پریس ویڈیو لیکچر اف یو گائز ریمبر وی ٹاک دیٹ how uh, means we talk different blood cells uh, means a little bit not in a detail a little bit we talked about basophils eosinophils monocytes lymphocytes uh, dendritic cells uh, every cells we talk but a little bit we just talk their name but we don't know that where actually each cells are derived but we don't know that where actually each cells are derived or uh, where the cells are actually formed okay we don't know about the formation of the cell we don't know about the synthesis of the cell that where actually the blood cells or where actually the amino cells are formed okay now in this video lecture i will explain that where actually the amino cells are formed usually in at the age of at adult age we, we can say at adult age the blood cells are formed in the bone marrow but at the age means uh, uh, in uterine life or we can say at fetal life we can say that the blood cells are usually formed in uh, from uh, you know liver and it is obtained from the spleen now let's suppose here we take a normal person at the age of uh, means uh, 14 or 15 year age at that age uh, let's suppose uh, we we take a person now how the hematopoiesis first of all uh, uh, let's try to understand uh, about this words uh, hematopoiesis hemato means blood poiesis means synthesis or synthesis uh, formation i uh, mean synthesis formation process so this word means uh, if we talked about the definition of it, this word so it means uh, the synthesis of the blood okay the synthesis of what the synthesis of the blood now this blood cells are usually as i told you it is formed inside the bone marrow so what actually happen inside the bone marrow a stem cell is always present okay a stem cell means stem cell is those cells which give to rise different kinds of the cells so we have one stem cell we have different kinds of the stem cells and we have a stem cell which we usually call that uncommutated stem uncommutated hemopoietic stem cells what we call it we call it uncommutated hemopoietic stem cells so this stem cells is actually the primary cell and it give rise to different kinds of the cell so let's begin this lecture so what uh, what actually we have we have a cells that is usually present inside the bone marrow so let me draw their a cell so let's suppose this is a cell and this cell is called what what we call that hemopoietic uncommutated hemopoietic what we usually call uncommutated pluripotent hemopoietic hemopoietic stem cells okay now why we call it uncommutated uh, uncommutated polypotent hemopoietic stem cells because first this is present inside the bone marrow and this cells doesn't mean that they will produce only one cells only one mature cell now this cell will not produce only one mature cell this cell will produce a cell which is not a mature and such cell will produce some other cell which is still not mature and this other cell will produce some other cell which is at uh, finally we can say mature okay so that's why this cell is called uncommutated pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells now what actually we have normally from this cells we get what we get the another cell which we call that we call it pluripotent commutated pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell now why because it is now ready to produce different kinds of the cells okay and it is still present inside the bone marrow but it is ready to produce different kinds of the cells now this will produce what this will produce two kinds of the cells which we call that it will produce what it will produce two kind of two kinds of the cells so first it will produce you know pluripotent stem cells so let me draw so it will produce a cells which we call that pluripotent stem cells and moreover they will also produce another cell which we usually call that myelite stem cells so let me draw so it will also produce myelite 
stem cells so let me write my light stem cells not only that they will produce sometime colony forming unit blastocytes so they will also produce what they will also produce another cell which we call that colony forming unit blastocytes blasto sites now why we call that colony forming unit because when we grow such cell inside a media media is anything that are usually responsible uh, or that are usually responsible to provide growth for the cells so whenever we grow it in, on the media so they make a colony means a clumping is formed which we can see with naked eye so they make such a colony that's why we call that colony forming unit blastocytes okay from this pluripotent stem cell it give rise another cells this is all unmature cells okay and it give rise and all this process are now happening inside the bone marrow inside the bone marrow from this pluripotent stem cells what we get we get uh, two we get a cells which we call that we get lymphoid stem cells so let me write we get what we get the lymphoid stem cell so from this pluripotent stem cells what we get we get lymphoid stem cell now this lymphoid stem cells will further produce what they will further produce two more cells so let me draw they will further produce two more cells the one we call that natural killer cells so they will produce what let's suppose this is what this is the natural killer cells now all these are the not the exact structure okay all these are not the exact structure inshallah in some other videos lecture then we will draw the exact and the complete structure of the cells so this is although this is not the exact structure of the natural killer cell but it is just for the understanding okay so from this lympho lymphoid stem cells what we get we get natural killer cell and we get lymphoblast so let me draw we get lympho blast so this is what this is the lympho blast or we can say lymphoid we obtain what we obtain lymphoid now from the lymphoid we get the lymphocytes so we get what we get the lymphocytes two lymphocyte if you remember b cell and t cell so here are the two cells what two cells b cells and t cell so still this is not the exact structure of the b cell and t cell but it is just for your understanding that from the lymphoblast or lymphoid we obtain b cell and t cell and these two are called what these two are called lymphocytes lymphocytes this is what this is the t cell and b cell we also call it t lymphocyte and b lymphocyte as well so this is what this is the lymphocytes now let's go back again to this side now from the colony forming unit blastocytes we obtain three more unmature cells and these three more unmature cells are what these are the let me draw So this first cells we call that uh, colony forming unit granulocytes erythrocytes. Okay, and second we obtain another cell which we usually call. Let me draw here. We call that uh, colony forming unit. mega kirio blast and another cells which we obtain from this colony forming unit uh, blastocytes we call that uh, now this is another unmature cell and we call that what we call that uh, colony forming unit uh, colony forming unit uh, monocyte or sometime it will produce monocyte as well as it will produce granulocyte as well that's why we we call that colony forming unit monocyte and granulocytes okay from each of the cells what we obtain so from this cells we obtain 
erythroblast what we obtain we obtain erythro blast now this is what this is the erythroblast erith ro blast now from this colony forming unit mega kyrioblast we obtain the mega kyrioblast mega kyrio blast okay and from colony forming unit we will explain it later now from this erythroblast what we obtain we obtain the red blood cells okay so this is what this is the rbc so let me write red blood cells finally we get red blood cell but not directly we get the red blood cell this erythroblast will uh, further proceed in different steps okay as i write here direct rbc but not direct rbc are formed this will further proceed in some different steps inshallah i will explain each of the steps that how actually the rbcs are obtained from and how this erythroblast will you know proceed some other steps we will we will explain it in some other video lecture not here we will explain it in the erythropoiesis okay so after that from this mega kyrioblast what we get from this mega kyrioblast we directly obtain the platelets so this is what this is the platelets platelets okay we also called it thrombocytes and this rbc are also called as erythrocytes as well now if we talked about the colony forming unit monocyte and granulocytes so it can give rise to what first of all it will give rise to produce monoblast and myoblast so let me draw it will produce two cell it will produce monoblast so this is what this is the monoblast and it also produce what it also produce the uh, monoblast and myeloblast so let me draw the myeloblast here so this is what this is the myeloblast milo blast okay so it will it produce monoblast and myeloblast now this monoblast is further converted into pre converted into pre monocytes so it will convert it further in what it will convert it into pre monocytes so this is what this is the pre mono sites now finally from this pre monocytes we obtain what we obtain the monocytes so let me draw so this is what this is the monocytes as the monocytes is different function so this monocytes will further you know convert it into two other cells so they will further convert it into two other cells not usually sometimes they are converted into two other cells we call it macrophages and dendritic cells so let me draw here so they will further you know classify into two other cells so this is what this is the macrophages and it is also converted into dendritic cells so this is what this is the dendritic cells dendritic cells okay so from monocytes we obtain macrophages and dendritic cells not directly only monocytes sometimes we obtain and sometimes when the infection chances or when the inflammation is occur then each of the cells are produced from the monocytes now from this myoblast what we obtain from this myoblast as i told you from this myoblast we obtain what we obtain we obtain pre myelocytes so let me draw we obtain pre myelocyte so this is what this is the pre myelo sites so we obtain pre myelocytes and from pre myelocytes we obtain three more unmature cells so we obtain what we obtain three more immature cells so let me draw the structure of each cells
we obtain what we obtain the myelocyte and each myelocytes are called what so we obtain three myelocytes these are what these are the three myelocytes we called it neutrophil myelocyte eosinophil myelocytes basophil myelocytes after that from this neutrophil myelocytes what what we obtain we obtain the neutrophil fill metamyelocyte from this eosinophil we obtain eosinophil metamyelocytes and from this basophil we obtain basophil meta uh, you know basophils metamyelocytes okay after that from this neutrophil you know from this neutrophil metamyeloblast we obtain mature neutrophils what we obtain finally from each of the cells we obtain mature neutrophils so this is what this is our mature neutrophils this is our mature eosinophils and this is what this is our mature basophils now how we can see each of the cell we will stain it with, we can stain it with different kinds of the chemicals inshallah i will explain each of the chemicals and everything so and due to each chemicals we can e e easily visualize each of the cells now how the neutrophils will be look like so the neutrophils have what neutrophils have the nucleus just like that so they have bilob nucleus this is what this is a bilob nucleus now here eosinophils will be look like uh, you know they have the spectral like uh, they have what they have the spectral like nucleus so this is the eosinophil and whenever we talked about the basophil so basophil have what the basophil have the structure of the nucleus like that okay as we call that granulocytes all these three cells are what all these three cells are called granulocytes so, so they have what they have granules they have granules in their cytoplasm so that's very important this is not the exact structure inshallah in the next video lecture i will draw the exact structure okay and i will explain in much more detail now this is what this is the basophil this structure is just for you are understanding that uh, how uh, means the blood cells are formed okay these are what these are the mature granulocytes neutrophil eosinophil and basophils now after that each of the cells are ready to perform their function okay so that's all about that how hemato hematopoiesis is occur inside the bone marrow one thing more that i forget about this myelite stem cells now this myelite stem cells is produce what they will produce so you know uh, some other cells which we call that you know they will produce first of all they will produce a cells which we call that so what they will produce potative mast cell precursor now this myelite cell produce potato mass cell precursor and from this potato mass cell precursor what we obtain finally we obtain what we obtain the mast cell so we obtain the mast cells so let's suppose this is what this is the mast cell now this is not the exact structure i will explain the exact structure and i will draw the exact structure in next video lecture actually this process is start from what this process is start from a stem cell which is usually present inside the bone marrow okay and from the stem cell we have uh, the primitive stem cell we have what we have the uncommutative pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells now this is what this is the primitive cells which is give to rise different kinds of the cells and each cells will give to rise some other cells blood cells and each cells will give to rise the mature blood cells okay so the mature blood cells we have this t cell b cells monocytes macrophages dendritic cells you know we have neutrophil eosinophils uh, basophils we have red blood cell platelets all these cells are what all these cells are the mature and all these cells will reach to the tissue to the different organ sites to different sites of our body when there is an infection or when there is an accident occur in a specific sites of our body so then each cells will be accumulated at the specific area once each cell 
uh, reach to the specific ear where the infection is occur then they will provide some signal they will provide some signal now here one thing is very important they will provide a chemicals they will secrete chemicals which we call their cytokines inshallah i will explain the cytokines in much more detail they will uh, secrete interleukins different kinds of interleukins we have one two three four different kinds of interleukins tumor necrosis factor we have interferon so these kinds of the you know chemicals are secreted after each chemicals each chemicals you know they are some of them are acting uh, you know uh, chemotactic factor and some of them are acting uh, some other purposes we will explain it or uh, don't worry about that so each cells will be attracted due to each uh, chemical signals and then the infection will be you know eliminated at that area so inshallah in the next video lecture we are we are going to, we are try our best to explain the wbc in much more detail we are going to uh, we are going to uh, explain you know the tb cells each of the cells uh, in much more detail so usually what actually happen usually inside our body the normal blood cells of the lymphocytes the normal blood cells of the wbc if we talked about wbc so the normal range of the wbc inside our body this is about Seven, four, double zero. Seven, four, double zero means seven thousand four hundred blood WBC blood cells we have uh, uh, in in one drop, or we can say you know uh, mm cube. So this is the unit mm cube. Okay, let me tell you some other important things. Uh, you know. Uh, the normal blood range so let me tell you the normal blood range let me raise this one portion and tell me uh, tell me the normal blood range or the normal blood cells or the number of the blood cells what actually happened first of all we have what we have the rbc number so let me uh, write here rbc now so it is 5 lakhs so it is what 5 lakhs okay now if we talked about the wbc so it is you know as i write 7400 platelets platelets so the number of the platelets will be means per mm cube the number of the platelets are 250 250 lakhs okay 250 lakhs and fourth we have the lymphocytes lymphocytes so the lymphocytes number are 2160 and their percentage will be you know 20 to 30 20 to 30% next we have you know uh, eosinophil sorry neutrophils neutrophils their numbers per mm cube is 1320 and their percentage is 50 to 70 percent so this is the normal range and this is the fifth and sixth we have another cells which we call that eosinophil Easy, no fills. Two hundred one five, two one five means two hundred fifteen per mm cube, and their percentage is two to four percent. Last, we have another cell which we call that basophil. Basophils basophils normally basophils are very low in our blood cells sometimes the basophil are not present and sometimes it is present so the percentage of the basophil is 0 to 1 percent and if we talked about in mm cube so in mm cube we have what we have almost 70 basophils so last we have monocytes so mono sites so this is what this is the eighth number so monocyte the mm cube of the monocyte is 430 and if we talked about their percentage so the percentage is 22 you know 22 to 30 percent 
सो दिस इज नो दिस इज द नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ द ब्लड सेल्स दिस इज द नॉर्मल रेंज पर एम एम क्यूब एंड दिस इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ द ब्लड इन वन ड्रॉप द परसेंटेज ऑफ द ब्लड सेल्स विल बी द डब्ल्यू बी सी परसेंटेज विल बी दिस नाउ दैट्स ऑल अबाउट वट दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ द ब्लड सेल इफ देर इज एनी चेंजेस अकर इन ईच ऑफ द नंबर्स इफ द नंबर्स आर यू नो समाइम्स लो और समटाइम्स इंक्रीज और समटाइम लो then there will be different kinds of disease occur inshallah i will explain the disease in some other video lecture so that's all about the hematopoiesis and the number of what the numbers of the normal range of the blood cells i hope you understand about this video lecture if uh, there is any things missing and if you have any kind of question so you can write it into comment inshallah i will give you answer if you like this video so hit the like button share this video and subscribe the channel and also stay tuned because in some other videos lecture in step by step videos lecture then we will going to talk about each of the cells means b cell t cells we are going to talk about uh, uh, granulocyte neutrophils eosinophils uh, all the red bloods all these cells will be explained in some other video lecture in much more detail okay so stay tuned thank you so much for watching